I'm on my way to the hospital to get my labs done. I've been trying to drink lots of water today so that my veins are easy to find. Hey guys, it's Megan with Loserly VSG and today I wanted to talk to you about a pre-op appointment. I have three weeks until my surgery, the gastric sleeve, and I they didn't give me much information on what was going to happen today, so I just wanted to um, come to you, let you know what, what all we did. So after I got checked in um, and they called my name, they took my weight. I'm 12 pounds down from the last time I was there. So that's a total of almost 90 pounds pre-op. Then they took me into another room and I just laid down on a bed and I have an e I had an EKG done. And so basically they just stuck these stickers to my chest and my stomach and my arms. And it took maybe a minute and a half and that was over with. Then they took me to another room and this is where they took my blood, which I'm not a fan of. I hate needles. I hate getting my blood taken. So she started on my left arm and as she was digging the needle into my arm, you have another nurse over on this side of me who is like, this is your history and did your great grandma have acid reflux and I just could not handle them both. I couldn't handle the needle in my arm while this one was over here talking about my family history and so at one point this lady I saw her moving the needle around and she was getting some blood and I was like that hurts and so then she I guess takes that as um, a sign to dig deeper and I just yelled shit real loud and so she stopped and she took that needle out and put a bandage on it and I thought, okay, we're done. And she just had like two vials of blood. So then she said, well, what does your right arm look like? And I just was like, I don't know. I've never had blood taken out of my right arm. So then I got my right arm out of my sweatshirt. So I'm just sitting there in my bra pretty much and I put my arm up there and she sticks the needle in that vein and she gets four more vials of blood. So they took six vials of blood from me today. And then um, I'm gonna look down on my phone because I can't remember. Uh, this next test was called a uh, hypolori, if I'm saying that right, hypolori. So what I basically had to do was breathe in, hold it, and then blow into this um, little bag that automatically sealed up when it was full. And so then they put the lid on it and then they made me take this um, little drink that was kind of like lemonade. I had to drink it through a straw pretty quickly. And then I had to sit very still for 15 minutes. And I couldn't get up and walk anywhere. I just had to sit there. But they, um, they took this time to just talk to me about some other stuff to expect like before surgery and after, which we'll get into, you know, as they happen with other videos. And then I signed my consent forms and all that. And so then after 15 minutes was up, I had to do the same thing. I had to breathe in, hold it, and then blow into this bag. And it checked for some kind of bacteria in my stomach that could be a problem later on, but would be harder to treat later on. So they wanna check for it now to fix it now if it's there. Um, I know, I told you guys I was gonna try to get pictures, and I was trying to get videos, but first of all, I hate hospitals and I hate really anything that goes on in them except when a healthy baby comes out and I felt like so rushed as soon as I got in the room like they were like take your jacket off take your shoes off let's get weighed okay let's go over to this room and then my phone was in my pocket of my coat and as I got laid on on the bed I was like oh shoot I don't have my phone but you know that EKG only took one minute and so I don't even know I don't know it was a mess so and then after the blood draw stuff happened I was pissed so I really didn't want to anyways. I I did cry. <laughs> um, she hurt my arm bad when she was digging in that vein and I was so mad that it happened and I was mad that she was gonna put it in my other arm also and I was mad that they were trying to ask me questions during this and so I cried. And when I told my husband about this, he's like, you bald? Or like just some tears came down. And I was like, I said shit and I had tears coming down. Um, 
So after I did the blow test, then I went upstairs for my appointment with the doctor and they got me in pretty quickly also. So I went in there and he came in to talk to me and he just pretty much gave me a heads up of like, this is what time you need to be here, which is 6 a.m. Cause my, excuse me, my surgery is at 8 a.m. And he just told me, you know, like when he would see me, um, what the process of the next day would kind of look like. And um, then he gave me an opportunity to ask him some questions. And I'm going to look down one more time because I had put all my questions here and um, I had to remember to ask him. He did talk about like with my pre-op diet that my premier protein the liquid diet, my premier protein would be the only place that calories could come from. So all the other liquids that I drink can't have any calories, but they did say I could have celery and dill pickles because there's pretty much nothing in those. So that is a solid that I can have. Um, I did ask him some questions about like, can I have, or do I need to get a stool softeners? Um, do I need to take probiotics? Do I need to take medicine for na nausea? Nausea. Nausea. If I'm nauseous, um, do I need to be put on some acid reflux medicine to prevent it? And I know there's other doctors around the country that do all of this to prevent these things from happening, but I guess he doesn't play it that way. He just kept saying, we'll see. Well, if you need it, well, I'm not going to prescribe it if it's not happening to you. And so I guess, um, I will just follow what he says. And if any of these things come up, then I'll either talk to him or if it's over the counter stuff, then I'll just get it. Um, I did mention the fluid situation hemmed again. Like I've mentioned in my other video, that fluid stayed on me after I had Evie and um, it turned pretty serious. So I just talked to him about that again, like how worried I was. And again, he just played it off like it's, it's not going to happen. Like it's not going to be like it was when you were in labor and it will come off and he said not not like the day you leave the hospital you shouldn't jump on the scale and expect to have lost all that weight because some fluid will still be on you but um he pretty much was just like we're just gonna trust the process and if you see signs of it again then you gotta let us know so that didn't make me feel any better but it is what it is and at least now I know you know the signs of it and so I can probably prevent it going as far as it did the first time so after he got done talking to me, um, a nurse came in to talk to me about some vitamins, which I already have my vitamins, but she did show me some other options. She talked to me about a clear protein drink that I'll have to use in the first week because I can't have the protein shakes, which I already have the protein 2-0, I think is what it's called, drink at home. But she had like Isopure and Pro Source, So those were some different options as well. Um, she let me know that I won't have to have a catheter now. They stopped doing that. So one of the things that I was nervous about, I don't have to worry about anymore. She did mention though that I would probably have to have two IVs. So I wish that she didn't tell me that because that's my number one thing that I'm worried about, which is crazy. I know, but I just hate them. So I guess I might have to have one in each hand. Um, and she did talk about that sometimes they put them in the arms and so I don't know, we'll just have to see and I need to quit worrying about that. Um, she let me know that there would be staples in my stomach that will have to get removed in my week appointment, which I haven't seen anybody else that had staples, so I didn't expect that. And of course I panicked about that. I'm like, have you ever had staples in your stomach? Well, have you ever had staples taken out of your body? And she's just like, oh yeah, it's just like a pinch. And I'm just like, sure it is. And at that point I'm like, get me out of here. So I'm just ready for the surgery to happen and for all of that needle and staple stuff to be over with. Something that um, I thought I was going to have to have was a chest x-ray and they said, oh no, we don't do chest x-rays anymore and we don't do the AGBs. ABGs. ABGs. What is it? Hold on. ABGs. And I was like, oh, what's that? And she said, that's where we draw blood from your wrist. So luckily they quit doing that by this 
time of my appointment and I didn't have to have it done. And the nurse upstairs was like, oh yeah, those are rough when they're digging in your wrist with a needle. So again, I'm just ready for this part to be all over with. So it was quick. <clears throat> they had it scheduled from for like an hour and a half and it really only took me about an hour. Um, my arms are a little sore from the blood draws, but it will be fine tomorrow and I feel a little tired today, but I don't know if that's just because I've been on the go all today or yeah, all today been on the go or I keep saying it's because they took six things of blood, but my husband's like, that's not going to do it to you. But, or I don't know if because I cried today that my eyes are just tired and I'm ready for bed. But that is today. So next Thursday, I start my liquid diet and I will check in with you guys to let you know what it is that I will be drinking and let you know how the first day goes. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Thanks!